Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right now, we are going to focus on that reclaimed look that you may want in your home. It's a beautiful opportunity to have a new structural element add it to something that you already have or if you're building, you're gonna to wanna to learn more about this. Right now, I have Bruce Woodison joining us today. He is the founder and CEO of Wind River Timber Co. Bryce, we're so grateful to have you here today. Hey, it's good to be here, thank you. So Bryce, tell me more about Wind River Timber Co. So we manufacture uh, wood siding and uh, timbers for residential and commercial buildings. Um, we also uh, reclaim old wood and uh, make it to whatever our customers are after. So. And I understand you started your career in carpentry at a very young age. Tell me about that. <laughs> I did. Um, I, uh, I grew up watching my dad. I always uh, admired what, what he would do um, building stuff. And it, it got me interested at a, at a young age. And so from, from there on, I just was always had an interest in it and, uh, and started building furniture when I was, I think in seventh or eighth grade for a local furniture company. And it's always been in my blood since then. And I'm curious, Bryce, what was the very first thing that you built? Do you remember? I don't have any idea. <laughs> my mom probably knows, but I don't. <laughs> but you caught the bug and really since then you haven't stopped building and working with wood. Right. Yeah. My, uh, the first boss I ever had, uh, told me, um, that I would, I would get sawdust in my, in flowing through my blood veins and it would never leave. And I think that's, that's exactly what happened. And you have started, you've ran, you founded several companies leading up to Wind River Timber Co. Tell me a little bit about your journey until now. Um, I'm always looking at, at, other opportunities and and uh, things that can be a benefit to me or my family and so that's just kind of part of the journey and uh, opportunity presented itself to uh, get into the siding manufacturing um, and timber manufacturing and so we've jumped into that and stuck with it for for quite a while and uh, it's it's been a good a good journey and We've enjoyed it. So you went from building furniture at such a young age, as we already mentioned, to working on cabinetry. You founded that company, and then you switched to alarm systems. So tell me a little bit about that change. Uh, just, just getting, I don't know, different opportunities, and <laughs> uh, we had a chance to move uh, across the country and live in South Carolina for a few years, um, and done that, and. It's funny, I, I was still doing woodworking there and uh, had a chance to, to build a boat <laughs> and a few things while we were there. So it always kind of stuck with me. And once we moved back here to Utah, um, we just jumped, I jumped right back into it. Um, like we had never, like I had never left it. And you founded Wind River Timber Co. because you found that there wasn't a company in Utah that really worked with this reclaimed barn wood look. Yeah, so uh, one of the things that I that I really like about what we do is we do the reclaimed look. Uh, we we can make new wood look old, new wood look old. Uh, we do reclaim a lot of old barns and old buildings, um, but we also have a, a wide variety of different products that um, will appeal to really any style of home, whether it's a modern style home or traditional um, and obviously the rustic style homes as well. There's really this timeless quality to this barn wood look and we showed some photos at the beginning of our conversation of elements both indoors and outdoors. What are some current projects that you've worked on? Um, right now we are doing quite a bit of uh, Sushugi Bon or, or burned wood. That's a, a pretty popular style right now. Um, and we, we really like it. Um, it's a fun process um, and it, uh, it looks good on in really any style of home. 
um, that people are, are building. And I want to make sure to point out that you're very concerned about the environment and the stain that you use and the specific wood that you find. I'm curious about that and really how you've had that be top of mind even when you're working in this industry. Absolutely. We're definitely uh, conscious of the environment. Um, we're all outdoors people and we really enjoy being outside and it's nice knowing that the products that we use uh, give us the ability to to focus on the environment. Our stain is is very eco-friendly, it's non-toxic. Um, one of the few products you can actually spray over open water and it won't affect anything. Um, we uh, also source, try to source all of our lumber um, that is, you know, deadfall or beetle kill so that we're not trying to cut down a whole bunch of trees just to make a buck. Yeah, that's something I was really impressed about is that you use a lot of deadfall, meaning that most of the wood that you use are fallen trees. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's nice knowing that that it, it helps clean up the forest and, and hopefully prevent future fires um, to get rid of that dead lumber that's already been fallen. Well, Bryce, I really love the work, the photos are just so impressive. It's beautiful. We've seen it on many, many homes. How can we get more information about what you do? And maybe we want to add this to a home we're in or we're building a new home. How can we get in touch with you? Sure. Um, our website is windrivertimber.com. Um, we're also on Facebook um, and Instagram as well. Um, all of our contact information is on there. You can see pictures. You can see information about our products and all the styles that we that we offer. So we, we really, I feel, can appeal to every homeowner, regardless of their style or, you know, their, what they want for their home. It's absolutely beautiful. Well, Bryce Woodison, founder and CEO of Wind River Timber Co. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, learning about your journey and hearing about how you can add this beauty to your home, both inside and out. We'll be back with more right after this. Stay with us.